Hey guys, it's Sam. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a what's in my bag for the Chic Sparrow Breezy Tote. This tote is in one of the new colors. This is the Rich Caramel and there's also a Quiet Tan. For this particular bag, I did not pay for this item. I do use, love, shop frequently with Chic Sparrow, but this particular bag, I had the opportunity to review. Jennifer sent it over to me uh, free of charge to try out and share with you guys. So this is going to be a review on how I feel about the bag and also what is in my bag these days. I have shown some pictures on Instagram of this particular bag and um, so I had some questions that I'm going to address in this video, hopefully, I'm answering your questions about it. And I'll start with those and then I'll get into what is in my bag and what I think about, about the leather and all of that. So some questions were, um, since I'm a curvier person, how this bag fits um, someone who is plus size. So I'm a 16, 18, more on the 18 side these days, and the straps are long enough for me to carry this bag comfortably. You know, it doesn't hang really low, but that's not how this style of bag is supposed to be. I carry it around with me, and I don't know, I usually kind of do this and just kind of keep it secure with me. If I'm like in a public space, anywhere that I might, you know, fear someone trying to rip it off my arm or anything, I kind of hold it like this. I do not wear like, bulky, big, thick coats. So I don't know how a curvier person would fit with the added bulk of a big coat. Um, I usually just wear sweaters or hoodies, um, even when it's really cold outside and I really should be wearing a coat. Um, so I can't tell you how this would work with super puffy coat and um, someone who is plus size. The other question is, I think there's some confusion about this being the smaller tote in the tote line that Chic Sparrow has to offer, you know, what, how small is it? You know, is it super small? Is it super tiny? Is it, is it even worth carrying around because of its size? And I will have to say that I am the kind of person who doesn't like a giant bag. So I carry around small handbags, mini backpacks, and so this is very comparable to that. To give an example, this is my Mini Konkin, and they are just about the same size. As you can see, the, the rounded top of the Konkin is just a little taller, maybe you can see it right there, than the Breezy Tote, but that little bit of space doesn't like add um, much to this bag. So they're, they're pretty much um, the same size. Pretty much the same width. I would say the Breezy Tote just has a little bit more. And then there is a, a bunch of give to this bag as well. So for me, I go between this bag and a Konkin Mini for my handbags. And so I don't find any, you know, I don't find any lack of space for this bag. If you've looked and seen the Konkins and you think, wow, I could never fit what I need into those bags, then the Breezy Tote might not be the choice for you and you'd wanna to upgrade to one of the larger totes. For me, the larger totes, I just don't have enough stuff to put in there. I don't want all my uh, belongings to be swimming around. I don't wanna be digging. I like that this one is nice and open and I can easily see what I have inside. I don't have to struggle to get anything out and it makes a really nice bag to shop with um, out and about for the day. The stitching, of course, on this bag is going to be beautiful. Um, it's very well constructed. It's very well made. It's a Chic Sparrow. I wouldn't have um, thought anything less of this bag. You have the Chic Sparrow logo here um, done on the front of the bag or the back, I don't know which is supposed to be which. I kind of carry it with this pocket to the outside of me. That's where I keep my iPhone. I have the iPhone 10. Um, it will fit a much bigger phone than that. Um, there's so many things you could fit in there if you wanted to put your wallet in there. You could put your keys in there. I don't like the idea of scratching up the leather, so I don't put my keys in this pocket here because you have all of this leather behind it that I don't want to scuff up. This bag does scuff though. Um, however, it's very forgiving. If you hold your thumb on a place where you have a little nick um, or scratch and then smooth it out after it's warmed up, it kind of disappears. And so although it does mark 
rather easily. It also is very forgiving. You have the uh, rivets here that hold the bag into place. They're very secure. Um, I have no concerns about this bag, you know, falling apart or anything. This is definitely not a throwaway piece. This is not something that will wear out in a few years. This bag is going to be an heirloom piece that I'm going to have with me, I would think, for the rest of my life. Hopefully that's a long time. So like I said, I just put my phone up here. And then on the inside, I have lots of different bags. And that is something that's not just with this tote. That's how I carry in my mini Konkin bag and just about anything else. So this doesn't have a zipper on it. As you can see, it's an open tote, but it doesn't like, I don't know, I don't sit it down and things just like fly out of it or anything. And I don't usually zip my bags anyway. So for me, that's just like a step that I have that I can avoid. What I have inside of it, um, I will show you. And before I get started, I want to kind of give a little note. Um, this is a receipt from the post office that I've had in this bag since I would say the day after I received it. Now this is thermosensitive paper. And if you can tell, there's a really light, like yellow here and then dark. And so this is an oil tan leather. And so over time it can um, get oil onto your items. Now, like I said, this I haven't taken out of the bag since I received it, um, well, the day after. And so you can tell that it has darkened this paper, but it doesn't like feel oily or anything. I say that to say that you want to be careful with the other like, especially leather items that you have in your bag. Let me toss that here. So I carry a weekly calendar cover from Chic Sparrow. I have used and love several. This is the Pemberley line, and this is in the color Fern, which is recently, not recent, which is discontinued, so you can't find this one unless you're lucky enough, like I was, to find it um, for sale. Um, I put out like a search looking for it on Instagram because I'm no longer on Facebook, and so I no longer get to do the buy, sell, trade groups, but I did put on Instagram that I was looking for this and found one. Um, so I'm grateful for that, but I don't want this to get oil transfers from the tote. So although I do put it in my bag as I'm going around day to day, um, pulling it in and out, looking at, you know, my shopping list and things like that, I don't leave this sit in the bag overnight. You might put it in like a, like one of the little bags that come in your Chic Sparrow orders to further protect it. I don't worry about it too much. Um, like I said, it's not like this bag is like dripping with oil. I'm just saying that be careful, um, especially with your other leather items that you don't want to maybe change because of the oil that they come into contact with. So I carry this with me day to day in this bag, but I don't leave it like in there overnight. I always take my planner to bed with me. Does anybody do that besides me? <laughs> it sounds weird to say that I take my planner to bed with me. Um, but you never know when you're going to remember something that you need to add on your to-do list. I have some paperwork for a ring that I'm having resized. Um, love those steroids. Um, I have this pen case that I received in, in a goodie bag uh, with a, a a Hobonichi cover that I ordered on a buy, not ordered, purchased from a buy sell tra trade on Facebook several years ago. It's the Cubics brand. I have searched high and low because I don't prefer this shade of blue, but I really like this pen pouch. Um, I can't find these right now, like in this same kind. I found some that are like doubled and things, but I just like how this one's nice and slim. It has a zipper up here and I keep in here friction refills and I keep in here little baby post-it notes. And then on the inside, I have a bunch of friction pens. So lots of different colors. I always use black in my planner, but I use other colors other places. So I like to have a bunch of pens at my disposal. And so friction are my favorite. Sometimes I just switch up what I'm using lately I've been on a major friction kick so it's just filled with friction pens right now but if you look in it next week it could have other things in there 
I have some good old hand sanitizer because germs and my ID. Now I don't like to carry a big bulky wallet. I actually hope to incorporate my wallet into my weeks here soon. I'm waiting on um, a solution for that. But this is one of the um, Vera Bradley ID holders. And so it just has your ID right there, see through, easy pull it out. Like the other day I had a Kohl's order that I needed to pick up, they needed to see the ID. I didn't need to pull it out of the thing, I just showed her my face. Um, this is meant to just like hold your ID, but I have like eight cards in here. I have like my debit card, another debit card, I have my insurance card, my Raising Cane's loyalty card, a gift card. So it holds a ton more than is advertised. For me, a problem with Vera Bradley is I like pretty much none of their prints. I know, horrible person. This is a long retired one. It's getting dingy. I've had it forever. This is Plum Crazy and I love this one. It has these greens that obviously I love so much and the purples, um, just like the colors that I seem to be more attracted to in it. Been trying to find a replacement for this one because I love it so much, but I don't like other patterns. And then the last thing that I have in this bag is the bag that my friend Vicky sent me from Cute Things from Japan. I love this. It's covered in mushrooms. And this is just kind of like my pouch of stuff. So I'm going to toss them on the floor as I go. So I have some Gold Bond uh, Cracked Skin Relief because when it gets really cold, my skin gets bad. And it's got this like little targeted nozzle on it. And so I just use it to like go around my cuticles. So I really like this stuff a lot. I have um, some flossers. I have lip gloss. This is Revlon Rosy Future. Love this stuff. Not really big into makeup, but I like some lip gloss here and there. Uh, little baby fingernail clippers. Some chapstick. I have my anxiety medication which I take as needed. So it's not something like I wake up every morning and take it. So I make sure to have it with me just in case it's needed. I have my AirPods and I have a, silica, a silicone uh, cover set on it so that it's not just the regular white, it's yellow. And then I also keep the charging cord for my AirPods in there as well. And then this little pouch has a little slip pocket in the back and I keep band-aids and little tiny baby post-it notes that I use in my Hobonichi inside. So that's what I have in there. Sometimes I add another pouch that just kind of has other random things like a pencil, erasers, a few stickers. It just depends on like what's going on. If I'm finding that I, you know, take my Hobonichi with me to do some planning. I'll throw some stickers in there or something like that to work um, and take it in a pouch. But I usually just keep a pouch in my bag that has these things. And then I just change pouches from time to time, but I'm loving this one. And again, this one's from Cute Things from Japan. Now that the bag is empty, I'd like to mention that I was kind of worried at first how heavy this would be because it's leather. And I just had this thought in my mind that it was going to be like heavy on its own, but this bag is not heavy on its own. It's very lightweight. Um, I like how it just forms to your body. I love the leather especially, and this may sound silly, but I like to sit and do this. I love to feel that velvety inside and kind of run my thumb through to see that beautiful pull up. Now, if you start like massaging it back in, it goes back to the way it was, but I don't know. It's just, it's very calming to like feel that. And it's so buttery inside and to feel the changes and see the changes. I have sat um, and just kind of done the same thing with the straps and just kind of done this while listening in church or something. It's very soothing. Um, people probably looked at me thinking I was crazy, but to just see the color change and to feel the texture um, while you're playing around with it, I just like it. Call me weird, but whatever. Um, I just love this bag so much. It smells fabulous. It's 
it's supple. I think that it's everything that a leather, a real leather bag should be. If a smaller tote is not something that you're interested in, Chic Sparrow does carry bigger totes for you. Um, for those who like to carry like everything and the kitchen sink with them wherever they go. For me, that's not how I like to carry things. I've always been a person who gravitates towards smaller handbags. I don't like the weight. Um, I don't like sifting through things. I just prefer things that are more simply designed. So for those of you who would ask, what would I change about this bag? What I don't like about this bag? And I mean, I'm not used to saying this. Um, I usually have something, but the answer is nothing. I know that some people might prefer longer straps. I think that this length is perfect, even for a curvy girl. Some people might prefer inside pockets. To me, that's kind of a, it's it's not a thing for me. I mean, I'm used to, to carrying around my Konkin, which doesn't have interior pockets, and I'm used to working with pouches. So this, not having interior pockets, not a problem for me at all. Some people have said, well, you know, it should have a closure, should have a zipper of some kind, a snap or something. I like that you can access things really easily. I don't like fighting with zippers. I don't like fighting with um, snaps. I like that it's just a simple design. You have the quality of Chic Sparrow and you have a simple design that just, it's beautiful all on its own. Will there be days where I need a bigger bag than this? Yes, I have other bags that are for days where I'm taking more things out, but the same is true with my mini Konkin. So these are the two bags that I, you know, live in and use all of the time, and they're the same size. So this is what works for me in my life. If you normally gravitate toward smaller bags, I mean toward larger bags, but you find yourself wanting something smaller just here and there um, for days out or things like that, um, where you don't need your kitchen sink inside, then definitely try this tote out. I'm so thankful that Jennifer sent this to me. This is going to be a piece that I treasure forever and I'm really happy with it. I, I don't, I'm not a dressy up kind of person. I'm usually found in, you know, ripped jeans and band t-shirts and flannel or a sweater or something. And I still think that it looks great. Um, even in that kind of, you know, style. But it, it would go with so many different kinds of uh, wardrobes and it makes everything just look better with it, I think. I mean, I just ran out the other day in some like pocketed sweatpants and a band t-shirt and a sweater and I was like, I'm in my Crocs, but this looks, <laughs> this makes me look more put together. So I felt better about how I looked because I had this tote beside of me. And so I've been loving using it. And I think that if you were looking for a tote, that this would be the one to try. Um, if you like a little smaller bag. Um, and then of course there are other options if you prefer a larger bag. If you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video, please feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you and answer the best that I can. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.